Hi, my name's John and welcome to the John D. Jones YouTube channel. Today I'm going to answer an email I got this week from a person called Nicola. Now Nicola is in a very similar situation that I was a few years ago. She knows EpiServer and she wants to sort of make a bit of side money, she wants to do a side hustle, she wants to start making a bit of extra cash and anyone who knows um, enterprise level CMSs, you know that you're not be able to pitch for an EpiServer project unless you have your own agency and you have like a big well established brand. So for people like us, and if you want to make a little side money, what you're going to do is you're going to have to learn like one of the free.net platforms, so then you can go out and find you know smaller clients who are willing to give you some cash. So Nicola basically asked me, out of my recommendations, would I recommend Umbraco, Kentico, or .NET New? So hopefully I'm going to answer that in today's episode and give you sort of some advice. Right, first off, I should probably say. If you've ever been to my website, there's a lot of Umbraco tutorials there. There's not really that many Kentico or .NET New Card School books. So you probably can already guess that this might be quite biased towards one CMS in particular. So for me, I actually run a CMS tutorial website. And I have in the past considered, should I have a Kentico or .NET New section? And so far, I'm held off doing it. So I'll probably start talking about those reasons. I mean, I guess one of the first things that at the moment .NET Core is out and at the moment none of the really big CMSs except for Orchard support .NET Core. So for me, uh, I'm not going to write about or spend time learning a new CMS unless I know that they're going to be using .NET Core in the future. 100% Umbraco is, not too sure about the others, as I said I don't really use them that much, so obviously that gives Umbraco a big tick. So again, if you go to my website, see some of my videos, everyone here knows that um, I'm a big proponent of unit testing, um, sort of using solid principles and you know making sure that everything's testable. Again, I know I can 100% do that in Umbraco, and I'm not 100% too sure that you can do the same in Kentico and .NET Nuke. For my understanding about Kentico is that you install an application which is a web forms application and then you basically build yourself a separate MVC application and then you use the Kentico API to then talk to the backend system. Again, you know, that's a, and that's an okay model and some people really like it. I mean, some clients definitely want a staging live. For me, if I go down the road just up there, there's like a charity shop. Um, for them, I know if I can say I'm going to spin up a site in Azure for you, it's going to be a single web app, the cost is going to be X amount. Creating one website is a lot easier thing than having to create multiple sort of instances. Um, from my understanding about .NET Nuke, again, it's more of a point and click. I think if you want to create like a basic website, it, you can do that. But I think if you start and want to customize things or expand things, um, I haven't heard that great things about it. Again, if you, um, I'm a contractor, I run my own business. So a lot of the reasons why I'd learn a skill is basically for money. I mean, I'm shameless, I know, but I think deep down, anyone watching this, we're all in it for, we enjoy doing what we do, but at the same day, we all want to go on holiday, we want to have a nice house, have a nice life, so nothing wrong with you know wanting to get paid. So because of this, I do actually quite regularly go through job boards and I'd search for the word CMS. Um, every day I probably get about 40 or 50 emails coming into my inbox, it's all filtered. And I can say out of that list that there's not that much um, Kentico and .NET new work. So if you're going to go down that route, I don't think there's enough full-time work there to keep people employed. There's probably people watching this going, oh, I'm an idiot, disagreeing with me. Honestly, please leave a comment. Um, I would, if I could see that there was a viable way to charge a good day rate for it, I would 100% write a section on the website. But at the moment, I can't see it, so that's sort of a challenge. Um, when it comes to Umbraco, there's loads of agencies in the UK. In a recent video, I think I also mentioned that I um, actually started sending some emails off and asking people, you know, how they find their contract and their find their freelance work. And I think if I carried on doing that and churning out emails, I'd 100% probably been able to make a full-time living just doing freelance work for people. And then let's just get around to the technical side of things. Umbraco, you can install it through NuGet. I can go to um, you know Visual Studio, Umbraco 
download within about five ten minutes I can have it up and running start playing around with it Kentico I think is, is saying I think you need to install an application it's a bit more old-school um, .NET Nuke I think it's the same again if you just go to NuGet right now type in Kentico you're not gonna find any results same as DNM so because of basically all of those reasons, um, at the moment I'd 100% recommend anyone who's you know just looking out to start to go into Embraco. Like another great reason for Embraco as well is they've um, started up the Embraco cloud. So now you can get $25 for um, Azure hosting. They do most of their services management and stuff for you. Um, if you run your own business, you can and you can sign up like 10 or 20 clients. You can also make a slight commission on that, which is brilliant. So for me, I can't really see any massive or any really compelling reasons why you'd pick anything other than Embraco. It's the most popular one. If you go online, it's got way more documentation. There's more tutorials, there's more videos for it. Um, again, do a Stack Overflow search for Embraco and other ones. You can see that there's just more questions. So it's one of those things that if you're gonna learn something, I think it's definitely um, easier to go for the road well-traveled rather than you know just try and do something which is gonna be, quite frankly, harder to find information and more frustrating. I mean, by all means, um, from my experience, I've over the years I've learned about 12 different .NET CMSs now. Once you've got your head around the first two or three, learning a fourth or fifth one's sort of really easy. So my recommendation would be that if you really, really want to learn Kensco or you really want to learn .NET Nuke, A, if you can find someone who's going to pay you to do it, always pick the option where someone will pay you. If you can't find anyone to pay you, I'd choose the one where I'm going to get the most amount of um, skills or knowledge, which um, transferable skills as well. So for me, because you're doing stuff like um, you can do unit testing with Embraco, you can sort of do all this like code first deployments. There's like a well thought out sort of pattern to it that I think if you you'd learn better development principles if you went that way. Anyway, as I said, I don't work for any of the companies. It's up to you to make your mind which one you want to learn. Um, that's my recommendation. Hope it helps someone out. So it's time of the video. If you've enjoyed this and you want to learn a little bit more about um, Umbraco or some career tips, please hit the subscribe button. At the moment there's 40 people and uh, I'm very pre appreciative of that. We've got our first uh, female who joined up last week as well, which is amazing. Um, if you like this video, please hit like. It helps, um, share, uh, it helps other people find it a bit more easier. If you like my presenting style, think there's ways that I can improve it, honestly, please leave, leave a comment. This is uh, something that I sort of enjoy doing, but it's at the beginning and I'm still learning about it. Otherwise, head over to my website, it's johndjones.com. On there, there's over 700 tutorials, loads of stuff help you to get up to speed on Umbraco, how to install it, all that good stuff. So anyway, um, thanks for watching, bye.